Hey guys, today I am going to say that Commander is dead. I was one of the first players to play Commander. Uh, Commander Richmond, Virginia. I went to William and Mary Law School. And during my summer of my one hour year, Commander, completely new format, by the way, was adopted by my playgroup. And it was crazy. It was kind of a way to play cards that you normally can't play. And it became very apparent to me, and that's why I have all these foils, uh, these older foils, that hey, these older foils would be kind of fun to play, even if they weren't power leveled to the max. Now, this is a very sad day. Commander was never meant for Magic the Gathering to take control of, and that's why it's so popular. It's because Wizard of the Coast didn't have control over Commander. Um, in a really bizarre takeover scheme, they took over Commander. Now, let me read you a statement they said. No matter how you feel about something in Magic, it's never appropriate to threaten someone unless you use the Pinkertons. So Wizards of the Coast is a corporation. They have threatened people before with the Pinkertons and Alpha Investment supporting that, right? We have a whole stream on uh, his quotes about how the Pinkertons are good for magic. I think um, that at the end of the day, um, you have a content creator, uh, Sheldon, who knew what EDH was and he knew what EDH could be. And now they are going to ban stuff for monetary game. This is what I predicted all along. I predicted this from the very get-go. I predicted this from the very get-go that they would make this move because this move is all about money, right? It's about money. So now they have control over a format they specifically would destroy. All they've ever done is, in my opinion, destroy, destroy, destroy. There's been no other rationale behind what they've been doing other than they want to ban cards, they want to make a premium set, Mana Crypts, uh, Mana Crypt would be a very good example, make them the chase of the Exelon set, sell a lot of boxes, have really good secondary market movement, and then once uh, they sold enough boxes, boom, done. The Mana Crypt is now banned. Now we have something called Mana Crypt 2.0, slightly more powerful, slightly less powerful, but very similar, we'll make that the chase of our new set, and then, nope, oh, ban, like, Jewel Lotus, I don't think you guys know how bad. Jewel Lotus is really the bad one. Mana Crypt, I could see, okay, it was a card previous to Commander popularity. Jewel Lotus, I can't see it, man. I cannot see it. Jewel Lotus is the card in Command. They sold two different sets from it. Commander Legends and Commander Masters, where they had the premium set. And I, I am just... A baffled that i'm so so baffled right about this um this decision is really bad they needed they needed to keep um this away from wizard of the coast they need to keep this away from them because they will destroy it the reason that commander has done so well and i can tell you as one of the initial players who played commander is there wasn't, it was supposed to be a format they did not control. Right? It's the only format. It's the only format. They, they destroyed Standard. Modern is dead. Pioneer sucks. None of this stuff make any sense, man. Like, um, um, like, how can I put this? The reason Commander is successful is for the reason that it, Wizard of Coast should not have it. It's a player demand. It's players playing whatever they want. It shouldn't even, I, I think in my opinion, there shouldn't even be a ban list. If if a player is playing cards that are too powerful for his group, you won't play with him anymore. That That's how you do. Or you team up and you know, attack the same player. Like this is the basis of Commander. When I played it, it was four or five people playing. And you know who has the better jet deck. And you know you got to take them out faster. And the, all the players there, because they played so many times with each other, Understand who has the power level deck and who needs to be taken care of in a 
faster mana, right? Who's got playing the combo deck, who's playing the aggro deck, who's trying to kill your EDH commander, who's trying to do the poison thing. You know what decks people have because you played them over and over and over again. And that is the beauty of commander. Is like you you if you have five or four people, let's say four people, a game of commander, four people. One of the decks may be overpowered, but all three other players go know going into that 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 player has spent more money than the rest of them, and they're going to team up and you know they have free extra turns. It's almost like Art's enemy, right? They have free extra turns, they have free extra attack phases. That's the that's the balance. Wizard Coach will never understand that. Because they never play Magic. None of these people actually play Magic. I've said many, many times these only fan models, and and you know I I, I look into this stuff. And the, the Magic Gathering Champion Autumn only started playing from Battle for Zendikar. Are you effing kidding me? Like what the hell is that? Like you know, like these are not old school players like me, um, where we grew up on Magic because Magic wasn't cool. It wasn't pop. I mean, it it is. A terrible idea to give this over to Wizard of the Coast. Yet it was absolutely the idea that they were going to run with. Oh, we have because they've run with this before. Remember when they were like publishing articles and like like about like Chandra definitely being not gay or then being gay, and no one could publish their name because their quote were getting so much backlash. But that's what Wizard Coast wanted. Wizard Coast doesn't want their employees to get any spotlight. Like, imagine a journalist like writing this great article that they feel is really good, and they don't even get to put their name on it. And instead, it's the team. But after the team didn't work on this, I worked on this. I want my name out there. Oh, oh, but you're going to get abuse. We're going to protect you from abuse, guys. This is the worst idea. I've ever heard in my life. Um, I mean, the only, the only thing that was more offensive than this is, and, and trust me, this is pretty offensive to an old school Magic player. The, ED8 is specifically popular because there's no involvement with Wizard of the Coast. It was a format made specifically so Wizard of the Coast couldn't control it. I was there at the time when these discussions were being had in forums and so on. MTG Salvation. I was a, I was one of the head moderators of General. I get it. You know, I was in part of these. You know, I was I was in these discussions about EDH, and at that time, EDH was minor. Uh, they were pushing standard. They were pushing modern. Modern was a new bell of the ball, ball right? Uh, now they understand that the only thing that people that sells is the EDH, and that's why they're here. It's a, it's a sad day, man. It's a sad day. For all Magic players.